jump right back into it oh my goodness hello travelers adventurers scavengers and of course builders welcome back to this wonderful dragon quest builders 2 adventure so it's been a while of course for a very good reason i probably am gonna talk about it in my study valley playthrough of course there's always much more time to talk about things life things in that one but for now let me just say that i've been having a job and all of that so i've been having busy um, i've been busy more like sorry <laughs> but yeah um i say that we just jump right back into it i do remember where we left off though we had to help a doogie here <laughs> we need to keep him safe from the monsters so that is exactly what we're gonna be doing but all right hold on hold on okay <laughs> Yeah, just remembering the controls real quick. All right, yeah, I should do it. All right, let's keep going. So we just have to keep our friend Doogie safe as we follow this little path through the mines. Very interesting place, might I say. Mushroom, do you think we can eat it? Oh, we can take it, nice. Mushrooms, oh, sorry, marshrooms. <laughs> All right, fantastic, I cannot wait to cook them. Oh, and a bonfire! Don't mind if I do. They placed this one with a purpose. The developers. All right, we're gonna be living that cooking. And um, yeah, all right. Are we ready to fight? Wow, you guys are new. Oh wait, you're friendly. <gasps> you're friendly. Oh, maybe not the green boy. All right. Oh, 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 hold on. <laughs> no, never mind. They're not friendly at all. <laughs> Very well. Maybe the little mole guy was friendly until the, the bat alerted him, but <laughs> we'll never know, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. The mushroom. Oh, shrooms on a stick. Her hammer makes her first shrooms on a stick. <laughs> All right, hold on, Ash. Oh, four. We needed this for the for the for the for the for the, for the, for the, <laughs> for the armor that we unlocked in the Isle of Awakening. It's good to have it now. Very well. Let's see. I'm still good in stamina, so I'm not gonna eat it just yet. I will, however, clean my inventory a bit and uh, put you away. And you, and you, and let's see. How do we? Ah, there we go. Tidy. There we go. <laughs> Nice and clean. <laughs> Look at Doogie Ron. He's so cute. Oh, oh. Also, I've been doing some thinking about the voices that I gave them last episode, and I, I, I mean, it kind of sounds, or more like it, it is kind of like reading that they either have like a British accent or perhaps a Scottish one. But I tried, off camera of course, tried to talk in any of those accents and because I already have an accent myself, it felt quite impossible or downright monstrous <laughs> to try to make an accent when I already have an accent. So I think I'm just gonna read it like normal, right? With of course their voices, but with no accent from now on. Angabat, this don't look good at all. Them supports have seen better days. We'd better get them fixed, quick, smart. All right. Okay. And we have a little mission right away. Nice. <laughs> Give me job. Give me job. <laughs> oh. Look, the posts what prop up the roof are in terrible shape. The old tunnel could collapse at any moment. I see. We gotta get them fixed before the next earthquake hits, or we'll be buried alive. Get them soft what looks back in place. Hurry! Alright, so let's use our gloves. I hope they are the right choice, honestly. Sometimes I get a little clumsy with them, and I, it makes me think, oh, I should have used the hammer instead. Let's see. Nope, it's a... It's a oh, <laughs> sorry, little piece of wood. It's a good enough job for the gloves. There we go. Uh, the supporting pillars are repaired. Very well. Lovely jubbly. <laughs> Them supports look good as new. You've done this before, ain't ya? Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, let's switch back to our hammer, though. All right. 
because I want this mushroom. All right, <laughs> and I will speak to you, Doogie. Nice one, Hammer. Thanks to your marvelous meddling, mending skills. <laughs> Sorry. Those supports should hold for the four sea apple. Well, looks like we've stumbled on a good bit of metal too. <gasps> oh, that's right. That's metal. All right. That mallet of yours won't be able to break the harder rocks, but it should do the trick for copper and coal. First things first, let's snap ourselves a few nice lumps of copper for our old mate Magrog, and we might as well bag a bit of coal while we're here. Very well. A uh, stump complete. Uh, also, I moved my computer. Now we are right at the room where the window is, and the window is open, so... <laughs> be ready for people with loud music passing by, all right? And being caught in the microphone. <laughs> Hammer obtains a chunk of copper, no! Nice. What's that, Hammer? It wouldn't be a lump of copper, would it? It is exactly that, Malrod. Old Mad Magrog wanted five, remember? Let's pack them up and get the heck out of here. Very well. Find some copper, one out of five. Uh, here's two. All right, all right. Let's see. I say that we take a big chunk of it. Grab a big bite. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, our hammer obtains a chunk of coal. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> What's that black lump you've got there? Whatever it is, it could come in useful. If you see any mother or more of that stuff, bong it in the bag. <laughs> All right. So, let me pick up my residue. Hold on, hold on. I want that little block over there. Okay, okay. <laughs> nice. Get in, Hammer. Now we've got all the copper we need. Let's head up top again and show Magrog the goods. <laughs> of course. Hold on. Aren't you supposed to be a miner? You should stay behind and do some work for a change. Hold on. Let me, there we go. <laughs> if you go back now, you'll be in for another one of Bab's tongue lashings. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe you've got a point. All right then, I'll stay here and dig for a bit longer. But you two better go and see Magrog pronto. Very well. Very well. I will do just that. Should I take just a bit more? Just this little piece. Then I'm leaving. All right, nice. Now I should probably not uh, wander on my own, right? Yeah, okay, I will not do that. Just to avoid spoilers, right? All right, let's go back, let's go. <gasps> Mushroom though. <laughs> All right, nice. But yeah, it's been a while actually. Probably, if not three weeks, then already it's been a month since the last time I recorded. I said that I was gonna make some time or more like free my schedule so I could record more. And then what happened was that my mom hired me to cover for one of her employees <laughs> for two entire weeks. And it was a full-time job, no, day, no days off. It was quite tough, actually. One of the biggest challenges of my life. Oh, I am just glad that I survived. <laughs> All right, I need to go to bed, though. Oh, thank you, everybody. Hold on. We can talk about it in the morning. I am afraid of ghosts. Hammer is afraid of ghosts. <laughs> All right. We seem to only have three beds in the whole town. So we may want to put some more, right? Leave that to me. Yeah, I wonder if we have... <gasps> I think I have infinite fiber, don't I? Let's see. How many of us are we in any case? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Infinite. Let's see. Me and Malroth, Babs, there's already two. The blacksmith and the bartender. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Doogie and Ducky. <laughs> Doogie. Digby. <laughs> Doofus and Rufus. All right. <laughs> so that's another five. Let's make six to make it even. Yes, please. All right. 
And I wonder that if the little piece of fur that we got has made us... Oh, we need two more. All right, all right. I see. I see. All right. Uh, put you here. Uh, put you here. Uh, put you here. And we have three more. Let's see. Where could be a good place? Honestly, this little place looks good. So let's see. I don't think it rains in the desert, right? <laughs> right? So I'm gonna guess that it is safe to place these beds up here. <laughs> Very well. Let's talk to the blacksmith. Hello, mister. Hammer, hammer, hammer. I can see it in your eyes. There is still copper in these mines after all. Let me take a closer look. Er <laughs> yes, yes. This is top quality crumbled on copper, all right? You won't find any finer than this. Seems the mines have a little life in them yet. Oh, also, with vamps, I think I will also drop the accent. And uh, instead I will just give her like a gentle voice, all right? Sorry to butt in, but I spoke with Goldilocks while you lot were scurrying about down in the mine. He says that the more metal we can give him, the more his strength will return. And once, once he's got all his powers back, he can use them to fill up the mine with precious minerals again. It'll be like the gold rush never ended, he says. Oh, magical golem. Is that so? Then perhaps he's benefit from the copper that Hammer just brought back. <gasps> can hurt, can it? And we can't exactly leave him in this estate, poor old thing. I say we give him the copper. Very well. Yeah, I don't mind giving it to him. A stomp. Is that copper? <laughs> copper not enough. Need gold to become gold golem. Strong golem. When strength returns, metal returns too. Huh. But copper stronger than stone. Me become copper golem. Stronger golem. You give me copper? Of course. Hand this over? Of course, of course. Er <laughs> of course. <laughs> Thank you, friend. Throw copper at me. It become part of me. Throw very hard. Alright. How are we gonna do this? <laughs> Good job. Perfect throw. No way. <gasps> oh, look at him. <laughs> All right. Wait, uh, Digby. Yeah, um, Cur Blimey, that splitting brilliant. You've turned him into a copper golem. No, not quite. Hold up. Only his head gone coop co co copper. What about the rest of him? Boo hoo. Me look silly. <laughs> a little bit. Needs more copper. Maybe a thousand lumps? <gasps> uh, wait, wait. Oh, also with Dan, I kind of want to give him the Mayor Lewis voice, right? A thousand? Pull the other one! That's impossible, surely? I wouldn't say that. The mine might not be what it was once, but there's got to be more copper down there. Digby, Digby, look what I found. What is it? <sighs> <sighs> I had a bit more of a dig about, and that mine is a chock full of copper. Look at all this, what I brought back. Shoes! <laughs> oh! Hammer of Tain's three chunks of copper. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> is that it? Is that letting it? You always was a lazy little skimmer, doggie. Give me a break, Digby. I'm the only geezer down any work, uh, doing any work around here, and I ain't even got a puff to unwind at after me shift. How am I expected to keep me morale up, eh? <laughs> Always with the excuses. Why don't you stop moaning about morale and get on with your job? Don't be so harsh on him, Malroth. Mining ain't no holiday in the sun, you know. And it's hard graft, dirty, dark, and dangerous. The lads have to have some way of letting up steam. 
I helped a layabout let off some steam by cracking his thick head open. <laughs> oh my goodness, that should get rid of all the hot air. Calm down, Malrat. <laughs> um, let's save that one as a last resort, eh? <laughs> I think I've got a better idea how we can get all the copper Goldilocks needs. Goldilocks time! Very well. Oh, he goes back to sitting like a good boy. <laughs> like the good boy that he is. Alright, what is it, Babs? Mm -hmm. It pains me to say it, but as things stand, we ain't getting our hands on a thousand lumps of copper anytime soon. But if we could give the miners something to look forward to after a hard day's work, it might motivate them to work a bit harder. And I'm not just to think. All we need to do is give them the old puff back. You mean, reveal the puff? Point, point, point. <laughs> exactly. The walls have fallen down and there ain't much furniture left. But that's where that puff used to be. The first thing I want you to do is make a cocktail counter. Just plunk a cocktail shaker over there on the bar where Dad can see it. Alright? You'll probably have to make it out of copper. But I ain't an expert. If you need metalworking tips, Magrog is your man. We need a cocktail counter for my dad's puff. Very well. So let's speak with Magrog. Hi. You're looking cheerful as always, young lady. What business has a girl like you got with an old timer like me? <laughs> so you want to make a cocktail shaker for the puff, but you don't know how to do it? <laughs> I'm sure you've heard already, but crafting's forbidden in these parts. I used to smith myself, but I tossed my forge some time ago. You see, the mine dried up and Crumble Dawn's glory days were over. In fact, it wasn't so long ago that the children of Hargon seized control of the island. Their teachings seemed to take root in no time at all. Just about everyone here is a believer these days. Oh boy, still a blacksmith's fire never truly dies. And as this is for Babs, I'll teach you what you need to know. I'll trust you'll keep our little arrangement a secret. <gasps> of course. Now, <laughs> before you can work with it, you have to turn the raw copper into copper ingots in the roaring fire of a forge. <gasps> so, you better start by making yourself a forge, eh? Weave one up at the workbench. Put it down around here, and then the forging can begin. Oh, perfect! Eureka! Hammer learns a new recipe. Alright, forge crafting station. A sturdy stone smithy, hot enough to melt almost anything, can be used to cast metal ingots. <gasps> oh, how exciting! Alright, alright, alright! Uh, let's see. So, we need to go to the um, crafting table. Build. Uh, let's see, what do we need? We cannot make it just yet because we are short in stone. We need eight exactly. Very well. I saw stone down at the mine. Oh. Er. <laughs> Hammer gets stuck in a cactus. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on. Maybe I can also destroy some of these. But also... Or let's see, should we tidy around this place? We can take the ones that are already decaying, right? Yeah, like that one. The rest we can leave alone. Yeah, that should be more than enough. We can even make two. Out of a whim! Nice, okay. Let's go back into town, Malrod. Thank you very much. Oh, we can also take these little rocks. <laughs> I can also take this one, but... I still don't know what to put in there yet, so let's leave it alone. Let's see, let's make two. <laughs> make two forges? Yes! Clank, clank, clank. Excellent. B. Now, where do we put these forges? Oh, this is already outside of the town. It looks like an elevator. Alright. Hmm. I'm trying to imagine what this town is gonna look like once we begin building buildings. <laughs> Let's see. Do you think it would be good to put something in this corner? 
do you think? Uh, or should we, <gasps> you know, let's put it, let me destroy all, all of you guys. Uh huh. Right in this place. We can build a forging area right next to the mine. But let's see, is this uh, the limit? Okay, yeah, yeah, this is the limit, very well. If that's gonna be a wall, let's mark it like this, right? <laughs> very well. Now let's see. Then the building is gonna be right here. There's one. Oh, uh-huh. Come here, come on over and look at it. So you built your forge. Harwon won't be happy about that. But in for a gold coin, in for a gold bar, as they say. Time to get forging. All right, let's start by making some copper ingots. Very well. Hold on, give me just a second. The other one is gonna go here. Very well, nice, okay. Let's see, let's begin. Oh, we can make a glass. Uh, wait. Let's do this ones. This, this, this first. Craft. Let's do as many as we can. <laughs> we can only do one. Very well. <laughs> nice. All right. Now we wait. Can we use this one to make glass? Oh well. Should we wait until they give us the mission? Let's just make a few. Just in case. <laughs> All right. We will build a building around it sometime in the future, but for now, let's continue with the mission. Where are you, my friend? Oh, okay. So now we have to wait. All right. I guess I can use this chance to build a building, <laughs> right? Or at the very least, the base of one. I also have unlimited wood. Let's never forget about that. Okay, let's see. Do you think we will be able to destroy this sometime soon? I'm a little bit worried about space. Maybe I will end up mm, moving this forge or no, we're gonna have to move it. I was gonna be like, maybe we can put a building up in that rock, but that's outside the limits of town. Very well, collect. I'll think about it, don't worry, don't worry. We can always add a second floor to all of our buildings. Buildings like we did in, in, in Forrowfield. Alright, let me speak to you. You made the copper ingots. It's just like the children of Hargon say. You builders are fearful creatures. Why, if I hadn't hung up my anvil already, you'd have me out of a job. <laughs> Hang the anvil. <laughs> Just remember that the metal you find in the mines is as good as useless unless you smelt it into an ingot. And if you ever need more coal, you'll find plenty down the mine. Very well. You know, I'm not without my reservations, but I think Babs might be onto something with this idea of using dense puff to light the fire under the miners' behinds. <laughs> well, of course, it's ambience, it's a good company, and it's a tasty drink. All right, Hammer. Did Magrock teach you how to work metal? Now you can get cracking on that cocktail shaker. Just make sure you place it on the bar when you're done and make that cocktail counter, yeah? That way Dad will be sure to spot it. Very well, uh, complete. Now let's see. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was gonna begin to wonder how do we make the counter though? Cocktail shaker. A copper container for concocting a plethora of potent potables. <laughs> is that how you say it? Potables? Or is it potables? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, we just have to place it very well. Uh, also, let me clear my inventory. Put you, put you, put you away. Oh, we don't, we no longer need the wood in our inventory because now we have infinite woods within our crafting stations. So I guess I can put it in the trash. Put it in the trash. Make one. Clank, clank, clank. All right, good job. Now let's go place it. And uh, let's see, like that. 
Or should he be pointing <laughs> towards the, the bartender's direction? Cor, Cor. Oh, not bad. Nicely done. Oh, <laughs> all right. Let's speak with Babs. Thanks, Hammer. That cocktail counter is just what we need to get these miners and me dad motivated. What the? I can't believe me mean spice. Mean spice? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Is this a cocktail counter? Me puff, it's back. All right, lads. Diggers, jiggers on the house. <gasps> yes. Oh, can I also join you guys? Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake. <laughs> Did I mention me dad used to be landlord of this gaff? Didn't I? <laughs> I didn't mention, all right. Glug, glug, glug. The miners used to come here every night to let off steam, but they was always back down the pit at the crack of down the next morning. Oh, very responsible. I was only a little girl back then, but I remember how happy they always looked. You could say I'm, um, 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 him and the miners were my heroes. <laughs> there we go. And now that you're here, Hammer, I get the feeling that we can reveal the puff and turn the silence back into the hive of activity it was. It once was, there we go. I know it's a big favor to ask, but will you help me? Of course, Babs! Thank you so much! I knew you had a hood, a good heart. Good, 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 good heart. I just wish we had a few more good miners. But where are we supposed to find any around here? No matter how hard Doogie and Digby work, there's still only two of them. Any bright ideas, Hammer? Hmm. Stamp complete. I mean, we can put flyers <laughs> in the cactuses. <laughs> Are you looking to become a miner? Come to the crumble down village. <laughs> or what's left of it, right? <laughs> Alright. What you're grinning about? Yeah, think of a way to bring in more miners? Arr! We can use the builder spell, you say? Oh, of course! <laughs> of course! Are you talking about that old thing? Point, point, point! <laughs> when you ring it, the sun draws people in and you become a better builder? You don't say! Huh. Well, you better give that thing a ring then, aren't ya? Alright, you can now raise your basis level! Yay! Hang in there, Goldie Rocks. We will get you your copper and you will stop looking silly. <laughs> Bing bong! Yay! <laughs> Base level 1, excellent! Hooray, hooray! Oh, yeah, we did attract other three boys. The population of Hammer's base just got a little bigger. Excellent. Er. <laughs> uh huh. You already know it. New recipes. Clap, 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 clap. Hammer learns a load of new recipes adobe wall, copper wall, stone steps, saloon door, lantern, scones, stone table, cake counter, stone stool, stone pot, barrel. Crockery, leather sack, bottles, and lastly, full flagon. Wow! <laughs> nice! Uh, who is saying? Uh, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What the bleeding Nora was that sound? I had never heard anything like it. <laughs> it worked! It really worked! We found ourselves some new miners! I can't remember the last time I felt this way. I have this uncontrollable urge to to make things again. Can't you hammer? You invented full flagons, barrels, and collections of bottles. Why? That's all stuff for the puff. Um, um, that ain't all. She figured out how to make cake counters and copper wall blocks too. I just hope there's enough copper down below for all of this. <laughs> You've been here five minutes and already you're inventing new stuff. 
If I didn't know any better, I would say you were getting into this. <laughs> Girl, you builders are something else. I ain't felt this full of beans since, since breakfast. <laughs> full of beans. <laughs> Seeing as you brought them here, you'd best say hello to our new arrivals. Go on, give them a proper crumbled on welcome. Very well. Let's say hello to our new arrivals. Hi, boys. Gotcha. We heard the sound of the bell and came over to see what the commotion was. What's going on here? Why does it trick on metal? Er, you're a builder? And not only that, you're rebuilding the path and mining again? Er, <laughs> the children of Aragon won't stand for it. I'm telling on you, the Underseer will hear about this. Hi, you lot! Hang about, Babs! Is that you? Oh, 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 oh! You was nothing more than an ankle biter last time I saw you! <laughs> she was an ankle biter! <laughs> How the time flies, eh? Me and Hammer have decided to get the mine up and running again. I want you to give us a hand. Eh? B but that's heresy in the eyes of Hargon! I'll never forget when the mines dried up and the children of Argon banned building. There was nothing left for us here. You was... Oh, oh, oh boy, oh boy, the window. <laughs> um, um, you was wailing, begging us not to go, but we had no choice. It was Armstrong's versus Heartstrings that day. Sniff, sniff. I know we go back a long way, Babs, but we believe in the master of destruction now. We might have abandoned the mine, but we can't abandon our faith. Uh, flexing! Well, as long as the children of Hargon don't hear about it. <laughs> flex, flex. We're all yours. If we keep digging nice and quiet, it won't do no harm. Flex, flex, flex. Three more miners moving to Hammer's base. <laughs> Welcoming fanfare! Excellent! Welcome! Wonderful indeed! Wonderful indeed! <laughs> Excellent! Let's speak with... Oh! Hold on! There we go! Let's speak with Bob's! <laughs> when you rang that bell, those miners came running like moths to a fling! Now they're on board! We should see a nice little upturning output! Hammer! What is it, Mayor Lewis? <laughs> You know, we was wrong about you. The monsters blinded us to the truth, but the glorious sound of that bell snapped us back. All of us back to our senses. What he means is we finished with the children of Hargon. From now on, we're gonna help you build stuff, ain't it? Alright. Flex. Flex, flex. <laughs> That's settled then. You've done so much for us already, Hammer. But things are only just getting off the ground. Why don't we go and tell Gollyrox about the plan? The poor thing thinks he'll never be back to his old self again. Alright, and stop complete. Let's go tell Goldilocks the gold news. Oh, Goldilocks, it's gonna be okay. And you're gonna be gold. Maybe not soon, but one day. <laughs> Hello, Babs. Hello, Wilder. You find way to get metal for me? Hiya, Goldilocks. Listen, we've got something really important to tell ya. Let me know if I miss anything out, won't ya, Hammer? Er. Um, uh, sure. So, we think there's a way to get more metal out of the mine, but we need to motivate the miners first. That's why we're gonna build a puff. That'll get them digging away like Billy O. <laughs> and who is Billy? Oh! <laughs> and whatever metal they find, we'll hand it over to you. You'll have your old powers back before you know it. And when that happens, the Golden Age will return and the copper, silver and gold will be flowing through the tunnels like shiny rivers. Ooh! Ambitious! Babs, very clever, very pretty. Me like you very much. 
<laughs> but goes very deep underground. Very little gold. Need copper first. Become copper golem. You heard the man hammer. We need to get mining, which means we need to build a path to make the miners motivated to mine. Reckon you can rustle up a nice blueprint for us? Of course! Making blueprints is what I do, Babs. <laughs> or our hammer does, at least. I'm the one who builds them. Our hammer is the one who comes up with them. Look at that! Isn't, isn't she just a prodigy? <laughs> <laughs> Hammer draws out a copper bar blueprint. Excellent. Let's see. <gasps> Iron. Oh, I wonder if we're gonna be finding it soon. Well, we have some in our inventory that we took from looking around. Copper wall. Saloon door. Alright, alright. Very well. Very well. Hammer, this is brilliant. It's the puff of me dreams. The old copper bar. <laughs> the copper bar. <laughs> With a puff like this as our local, we can unwind after a, a hearty day and get back in the mines bright eyed and bushy tailed every morning, ready to dig up even more metal. Flex, flex. <laughs> uh, how about Digby? That's easy for you to say, but you ain't seen the damage the children of Hargon have done down there. The place is in. In, in, in the right state, we got some serious repair work to do before we can even think about picking our picks up to pick more alls in the tunnels. <laughs> that was tough. Ah, big coincidence. Me have favors to ask. Same as your favors. Not copying. Honest. <laughs> Very well. The mission: going for the gold. gold. <laughs> First favor, fix tunnels. Oh, the little drawing. Mine tunnels have bad damage. Dangerous. Make tunnels safe. Miners go deeper in tunnels. Get more metal. Alright, build a bar. Second favor, make nice bar. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> With nice bar, miners do more mining. Get more metal. Give me thousand lumps of copper. Me become copper golem. Alright, sounds simple enough, honestly. <laughs> sounds. <laughs> so, first things first, we gotta give this manor a makeover and get me puff serving again. Hammer, you're the key to making this happen. Yeah, and make it a good one, will ya? With games and waiters. Oh, and dancing girls, ooh, 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 dressed up in cartel costumes, just like the good old days. And everybody goes, ooh, <laughs> I guess they're flexing. If we had, oh, oh, oh boy, angry dog outside. Okay, hold on, give it a second, give it a second. Hold on, should I pause recording? No, we're good, all right. If we had fancy cap like that to roll into at the end of a shift, we'd be motivated like nobody's business. Alright, hold on, let me pause. While the dog goes away, alright? Alright, sorry about that. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I have a lot to explain, but hold on. Let's continue for now. If we had a fancy cap like that to roll into the end of a shift, we'd be motivated like nobody's business. <laughs> Flex, flex. <laughs> if it'll help that much, I don't mind being a dancing girl. <gasps> er, me neither. <laughs> uh, we kind of would prefer to see Babs than have. <laughs> girl, blimey, you ain't putting me leg, are ya? You? You'll really, you'll really do it for real, sis. Truth is, my mom used to be a dancing girl. Seems kind of right that I'm following her footsteps. Is that right? Go on then, Babs. Get the fishnets on, for ye old my sake. <laughs> it's a little strange, but I'll respect this little town's uh, traditions. <laughs> nah. <gasps> Look, lads, I know your game. If I get all dressed up in fancy dancing clover, you lot are gonna just sit around staring at me when there's work to be done. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Tell you what, 
Once we've got the pub up and running again, I'll think about it. <laughs> very well. Get in, old pups. You made me a very happy miner. <laughs> if Bar built pretty lady look even prettier, hoo hoo, then must build puff, must mine metal. Me want to see too. Hoo 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 hoo. <laughs> Everybody blushes. <laughs> Get a grip, Goldie Rocks. We've got enough boneheads around here without you turning into one too. <laughs> Hooray for the boneheads! <laughs> Very well. But yeah, a friend was telling me that I can adjust my microphone settings so it can capture less noise from outside. But I feel like I will mess around, but not right now. <laughs> I am lazy. Although probably after tonight, I'm gonna have to put some pressure on that on that task. Because, as I told you, I moved my computer to the room that has the window, so I can survive in this summer heat. But now that I've traded um, <laughs> a cool weather, now I get extra noise. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. Alright, let's attack with our little friend. We got something to live for now, rebuilding the old copper bar. Core, I can't wait to see the old place blooming, even bigger and brighter than it was before. I know the boys will be just as fired up as I am. <laughs> Flex! Soon enough, the metal's gonna come pouring out of that pit, which is why I need you to do me a favor. What is it? As you know, Hammer, a typical miner gets up at the crack of dawn that spends all day digging down the mine. Evenings are for stress relief and are spent in the puff. But before we can start letting off steam, we always gather together in the middle of town and announce what we dug up that day. That's where you come in, alright? We need a place to turn in our finds and deliver the daily report. In other words, an accumulation station for the excavation declaration. <laughs> Rolls right off the tongue. Oh, that felt so nice to say it. As a matter of fact, let me say it again. An accumulation station for the excavation declaration. <laughs> I love it. Back in the gold rush days, we used to do it over there, right next to where Goldilocks is sitting. All right? But we can't just go chucking our precious metal to on the ground. Oh no, we'll need a trio of chests to store it. Just like the good old days. Three of them. Very well. Leave it to Hammer. Oh, you even marked them. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna have to move the beds. Very well. Let me take my gloves. Uh, let's see. Some of you are gonna have to be sleeping together. Together, together. <gasps> oh, look, we have three more miners in our... Um, I was gonna call it farm... <laughs> In our um, 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 lot, in our territory, <laughs> in the village. So I'm gonna have to make three more beds. Huh, weird. Okay, hold on. Aha, uh -huh. I knew it. <laughs> Very well, let's make three more. Just so none of our new friends get to sleep on the floor. Ah, uh, yes. Although we made one extra, didn't we? Maybe we are good on bed numbers. Oh, why does it look like that? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> All of us are gonna be piled up at night. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, switch to our hammer. And we're gonna be making three chests. That is exactly what we're gonna be doing. Let's see. Oh, I also need these for the blueprints. They are marked already. Uh, three? Yes, please. Clank, 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 clank. All right. Excellent. Now, mm, put you here. Put you here. And lastly, how about we make this one point towards this side? All right. Nice. Here he comes, running, running. Crack. <laughs> All right. That's some top notch chest placement, Hammer. The accumulation station's exactly as I remember it. 
Yay! Now we're ready to get mining again. Let me go over the nuts and bolts of the job one last time, alright? As our star builder, you're in charge of fixing broken beams, removing rubble, and making the place safe. That one is kind of more like Malra's job, but sure, I can help. Once you've shored up a section, Doogie will lead in the lads and put them to work. Very well. Then every evening, we'll tot up the days all, read out the accumulation declaration, and hand over the copper to Goldilocks. Very well. Of course, it'll stick in our cross to give our hard-earned loot away like that. But once Goldilocks is back to full strength and the mines bursting with gold again, we'll be rolling in it. <laughs> I hope so, honestly. The declaration takes place every day as soon as the sun goes down. We always ring a bell nice and loud before it starts, so everyone can hear. Down in the mines, you lose all track of time. The time, but if you keep a near ad for the daily report, you'll know when it's time to head back up top and eat the hay. Next up, nice. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, he has one more mission. Okay, tell me, tell me. I am all ears. Times of the acid hammer. Take Doogie and Malroth and get yourselves down the tunnel. You're the linchpin of this whole operation. As for me, I'll stay up here and mine the calf while you're away. If any more miners turn up, I'll show them the ropes and keep them in line. Keep them. All right, Digby, I'll do it. I'll do anything to see the bar build and Babs happy, even if it means facing up to me crippling monstrophobia. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. Now we got the roll sorted, there's only one thing left to do, to pray for the safety of the miners with the power of our pecs. It's flexi time! Yes, flexi time! <laughs> flexi time? What's that? <laughs> I cannot wait to find out! <laughs> you ain't never heard of flexi time before? I reckon you'd be good at it. Hammer, not so much. Well, no, Hammer has muscles! You need a bit more meat in your bones if you wanna join the Berg party. <laughs> Come on, Malrof, join in! Flex! Flex! And flex! And flex! And flex! And flex! <laughs> <laughs> this is actually pretty fun. Am I doing it right? <laughs> Come on, let Hammer do it also. <laughs> Alright, Hammer, your turn. Yes! It's time to put them tidy triceps of yours to work. Of course! Yes, yes, absolutely! Er, Hammer was born to flex her muscles. She has incredible strength. <laughs> <laughs> Cor blimey, look at the biceps up there. Uh, oh, uh, look at the biceps on her. <laughs> of course, I hereby proclaim you a bony fighty crumble donor. <laughs> Very well. Flex, uh, flex, uh, flex, uh, flex. <laughs> right then, I'll leave the lads to the seams. You can follow us down when you're done prepping up here, Hammer. All right. Alright, you horrible lot. Get them rears in gear and down the mine on the double. Hooray! <laughs> that was so much fun! <laughs> I cannot wait for the next uh, flexi time. <laughs> Honestly. Hammer, you're heading back down into the mine, ain't ya? Er, here, take this. It's nothing much, I know, but I made it specially for you, in case you get peckish. Hammer of Tanks a serving of shrooms on a stick. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> the she runs out. Oh, Hammer, what did she give you? What did she just give you, eh? Where's mine? It ain't fair. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you ain't gonna share with me, you better not food. Eat after Dougie before I give you a piece of my mind. <laughs> Oh, one more thing. If you just put Doggy gulping at a wall, he's probably trying to figure out a way through it. Make sure you help him, Matt. Yeah? Geezer ain't the sharpest tool. <laughs> Alright. Very well. I need you to think things up down the mine. Very well. So, 
that's what we're gonna be doing. <laughs> we got a little bit of an episode where we kind of just um, learn what's up and what's gonna be happening in the next days. But, uh, oh, actually, let's leave that barrel there. Uh huh. And let's put this other one over here. <laughs> but all right, this is where I'm gonna be ending the episode, you guys. I know it's been a while, it's gonna take me a little bit before I can get used to it again. <laughs> but I am so glad to be back. My goodness, feels so good. Uh, I am currently getting ready to record the, um, the finale of Animal Crossing New Horizons. That one is gonna be a little bit more challenging than Stardew Valley or... Or Dragon Quest Villers too. So maybe that one is gonna take a little bit more time to prepare, but don't worry. I am already putting in the work. It is gonna happen, it is gonna happen. The grand finale of Animal Crossing New Horizons. But yeah, alright. Let me just do my outro. While I take away these vines. Get in my pocket. Except you. You can disintegrate. Alright, <laughs> there we go. Alright. Thank you so much for joining me today, traveler, adventurer, scavenger, or perhaps the builder. <laughs> like and subscribe if you enjoyed this episode. And I will see you around. Take care. Goodbye.